Dave Bremerton, Josh Farley with the Kitsap Sun out at the Northwest School of Dance today where they're just about to put on a winter's tale this Friday and Saturday night. I've got that story along with my usual five that you just got to know about happening in Bremerton this week. Welcome back to this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theatre. Story number one today, while we are at the Northwest School of Dance, we have a developing story. Sound West Group, which developed the Spyglass Hill Apartments, as well as a remake of the Roxy Theatre, is embarking on an ambitious new project called Marina Square. This would take two acres of prime Bremerton waterfront real estate and turn it into both a hotel, apartments, and a restaurant. Soundwest Group is purchasing this property, which sits right next to the Bremerton Harborside from the Port of Bremerton at a cost of about $4.5 million. There's no timetable yet for construction. Story number two today, many of you watched as the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier came back into Sinclair Inlet on Sunday. The Navy's oldest carrier, commissioned in 1975, completed a six-month, 78,000-mile deployment that took them from the Arabian Peninsula to the Korean Peninsula and many points in between. Story number three. This weekend, you'll have a chance to see A Winter's Tale, the latest production from the Northwest School of Dance located off of Highway 303. Founded in the summer of 2011 by two professional dancers, the Northwest School of Dance teaches over 300 kids of all ages in our community. We always say that dance class in particular is, is teaching kids life lessons. So, you know, learning the dedication, the commitment, um, the hard work, but then also the, um, the teamwork of it, how to work with fellow students um, in a learning environment. Um, it helps build their self-confidence, motor skills, coordination, balance. Um, discipline. D discipline, for sure. The school has produced dancers like Jaden Brainer, who recently returned from San Jose, where he played the Nutcracker and was joined by a cast that included dancers from the New York City Ballet. In dance, I feel that that it's just another way to express myself other than like talking it's it's more unique you can see a winter's tale at 7 p.m. on Friday night as well as 2 and 7 p.m. on Saturday at the Bremerton Community Theater story number four last week we told you purpose boutique was leaving downtown Bremerton vacating the space at 4th and Pacific owned by artist Amy Burnett but did you know for the past several months Every Saturday, a group of artists has been going into the basement of the gallery and painting. The result is a collaboration of which doesn't come around very often. This is the Paint People Project. About 20 artists have been involved. I hope people will, will enjoy this. It was done without any monetary sense, without any public recognition. It was just done because artists came down here to paint and do things they hadn't done before. I'm, I'm not sure what's going to come out of this, you know, this particular project, but I think in the long run, some of us gained a momentum, you know. So we're here getting together every Saturday, and I said, well, well let's keep that going. And finally, story number five today. For almost 40 years, Charlene Char Brunette has been working at the city of Bremerton, rising through its ranks, starting as a swim instructor in the late 70s at the Glen Jarstead Pool, and finally rising to the position of running Bremerton Cable Access Television, or BCAT for short. As she embarks on the next chapter in her life, I sat down with Char and asked her about what it was like to run the television station in what has been rapidly changing times. Um, we've tried to really highlight what's going on in our community, talking to individuals, nonprofits, elected officials, telling the story of not only Bremerton, but all of Kitsap. We used to do tape. You know, we can show you some of those old tapes. Uh, now we do a lot on DVD, and pretty soon not even DVD. That's going to be gone. People don't watch TV. 
<laughs> Some people don't own a TV. So how are we going to reach those folks? And it's through digital media, through our website and Facebook. So we're reaching people and we, wanna, we want them to be aware of what's going on here. So it's all about diversity. It's all about different platforms of delivery. I have had a fabulous career with the city. I go out with a happy heart and lots of friends. I won't be disappearing. You never know where I'll pop up. I could be doing a show about uh, Chick TV or who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it for this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast. I hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll see you again next time. This week's Bremerton Beat Blast soundtrack is the work of local artist Tapes12 and is entitled The World Today. Check him out on Facebook at Tapes12.